Hi, hello. It's been a long time since I've tried to YouTube or vlog or anything like that of the sort. We're here today in my room and I am going to declutter this closet. Um, it's quite a task. I am not a minimalist by any means, although that whole lifestyle definitely intrigues me and I hope one day to have this much. I'm also not a hoarder. Like I definitely have not that much stuff compared to other people, but partially because I live, I'm in college still, and I live with my boyfriend and we share a room. It's a small room here in Hawaii and he gets that half of the closet and I have this half and um, yeah, I have clothes here. I have clothes up in the luggage up there and then I have clothes down under my bed. Um, so yeah, with that, I hope you enjoy the video. Like it, please, if you like it. <laughs> I enjoy watching declutters, it's fun for me, and usually a declutter motivates me to declutter, so I hope I motivate you. I hope I can declutter enough to even call it a declutter. But we're gonna start with shoes. All right, I'm gonna be honest, I did not think I had a shoe problem. I did not think I was a shoe hoarder because it all fit perfectly in that little basket. Um, but now that they're all displayed, I can kind of see the issue. <laughs> I probably don't need enough shoes to fill up a whole rug. <laughs> I can't believe I have this many shoes. <laughs> Alrighty, first up on the chopping block are my Under Armour slides. Um, tried and true, I take them with me everywhere. They are kind of falling apart. Um, but we're going to keep these at least until they're completely falling apart. I do have a backup already though. Um, so these, I don't actually know the brand name, oh, Olukai, I live in Hawaii and I still, I'm not sure if I pronounce that, pronounce that right, but my mom got me these for Christmas, um, this color isn't a color that I wear often, but I wear these slides at the house just because I don't like walking around barefoot, and also sometimes just for quick, like, run to the grocery store, and I feel like this will be the perfect replacement once these are completely done though. Next we have these pairs of black sandals. These were actually my sister's, but they're still in really good condition considering that she wore them a lot. I haven't worn them that much yet, but you can't go wrong with black sandals. And she actually bought me these ones too. She meant them more for the beach, but they're actually not practical for the beach, so I tend to wear them kind of more like slides, but they're also not as comfortable, so I don't know. These ones, I feel like sandals in general in Hawaii are kind of, you go through them quickly, so I don't really mind having two pairs of black sandals. They're two different styles, so I'm going to say that's the reason why I'm keeping both. One with the square toe, one with a little metal accent. <laughs> this is proving to be really hard because I'm already just not having gotten rid of any shoes but um, these obviously look pretty beat up I wear them a lot I wore them a lot I haven't worn them recently obviously because COVID so we haven't done anything but I think since I already have those two other pairs even though these are way more comfortable I think I will give these away or I'll start wearing them to the beach more often since they're already so beat up these are in the maybe pile <laughs> These are not going anywhere. I just got these for Christmas. They are Teva sandals. I got them in multicolored. My family made fun of me because they said I should have just went for black, but I really like these. And every single time I wear them, I've actually worn them with a bunch of different outfits because of the different colors. And I think they look good. They're so comfortable. I, I'll probably get another one of these once these are destroyed because I just love them. I love them so much. <laughs> Next are these Steve Madden shoes, they're nude. I've had these, I think, since high school. They're going, not because I destroyed them, obviously, they're actually like pretty good in condition, but the little string tie up part is kind of stiff. Um, so I think it's just time to pass these along. For anyone curious, I'm on the cheer team and I always do declutters and I ask my teammates first if they want anything, um, just to kind of like keep the cycle loop going. Plus we're college students, so you know, we can't afford to buy clothes all the time. So it's just kind of fun. We share things on the team and then whatever people don't want on the team, I then donate. But yeah. <laughs> Next up are these 
nude sandals. These were never really comfortable when I did wear them and then I just haven't been wearing them or reaching for them as often. I've done a big declutter and I still haven't really worn them. I don't foresee myself wearing them. So I think I only wear them because they're all I had, but I'd rather save up and invest for some nude sandals that I'll actually wear. Plus, I'm kind of over this mauve tone. I think this mauve color was really in season or trendy when I was in high school. And I think we're kind of have moved away from this mauve. Keeping on the sandal trend, I have these two. They're both from Rock and Candy. They're very similar style, just one in this camel color and one in black. They have a very small heel. I'm not really a fancy gal or dress up gal, but these shoes with the little heel kind of make me seem a little bit more fancy. Um, yeah, I'm I definitely want to change that. I want to start looking more mature because I am 27 years old. I know. I don't know if I look it, but yeah, these are going to keep because I wear these for everything. Okay. These ones are hard. I don't really want to get rid of them, but I just don't see myself wearing them. They're kind of falling apart and yeah. I, I always go for just black sandals, if I'm honest, or like little heels, like I always go for black. So if I'm being realistic with myself, I'm probably not going to wear these. So I think we're going to pass them on. I did just pick these up. I'll probably keep these and I think that'll replace my other nude pink ones because these are kind of more versatile. I can wear them with something if I do have that sort of nude pink color in my wardrobe, but I could also wear these with a the more ivory type outfit so I think these are more versatile than those other ones and I think they're better quality too so I'll be keeping these um, these ones they are these are my sisters too <laughs> me and my sisters we pass things along back and forth to each other just you know because I don't know do other people do that <laughs> they are a bit old so I might not be keeping them for much longer but I'm gonna try and keep them at least through this coming year just to see if I wear them and then if not I'll pass them on. You can tell these haven't been used in a long time. I don't go to that many formal events but just a little black heel kind of one inch heel two inch. They're, they're not very high. And they have a strap. I love these. This is definitely the go-to. The go-to. Okay last. These are definitely in season. They're just a pair of white low heel square toe sandals, strappy sandals and I'm going to try really hard to wear these a lot this summer, so I'm excited. Next we have these olive green Under Armour running shoes. I got these for being on the cheer team. I love them, obviously, and I would keep them. I just really don't think I need this much shoes, and maybe there's someone out there that might like them. They're still in pretty good condition. I did do a lot of running in them. They were super comfy, and like I said, I. I don't really want to get rid of them because I would wear them, but they don't get as much love as some of my other shoes, especially because once I get a running shoe that I like, I kind of stick to it. You'll actually you'll see that I kind of stick to it because I just need one running shoe. I don't need a million and I have a few other just like athletic type shoes that I wear when I want to dress more athleisure-y. So yeah, I am going to be passing these all the way, even though... I do have a lot of fond memories with these shoes. Oh, decluttering is so hard. These are the current cheer shoes, cheer running shoes that I am using for the season. Um, so I'll be keeping these for now unless we get given new shoes. Um, we're pretty fortunate that we got, we got given shoes to run in. Otherwise we run in our cheer shoes. Um, but yeah, that's another point. I'm going to be keeping these at least until I can use them up. This pair of gray Under Armour shoes, we're in Under Armour school if you haven't gotten the hint. Um, these are my current, just my own running shoes that I got. Actually, my boyfriend bought them for me. Um, they're pretty beat up because obviously I've run a lot in them. I love them. I'm going to keep these. I do feel like I could. they could use a wash so that I can feel like you know, love for them again because they're kind of dirty and dingy. I mean, that's the point of running shoes, but they can use some TLC. I will keep be keeping these. And then these shoes I've actually had in 
my collection for a while. They still look very nice. I used to use these more for athleisure, athleisure type shoes, but um, I haven't been using them as much and they're actually more meant to be running shoes. So I'm not going to be getting rid of these. These will be my next pair of running shoes. I won't buy a new pair of running shoes once those ones, other gray ones are done. I have ran a lot all summer all summer last year in those running shoes so I don't anticipate those shoes being able to last too too much longer so I will switch over to these once those are done okay so these are my other olive green athleisure I do wear these a lot for more like sporty outfits I guess they're under armor as well but I just love the look of them and yeah I'm gonna be keeping these they're still in really good condition because I have a lot of shoes they don't get much wear so I need to declutter more but um, yeah I'll be keeping these these are another pair of under armor shoes that I wear when trying to look a bit more sporty <laughs> um, I really like the little dots uh, detail that they have and they're black and white and they go with everything so I'll be keeping these okay this one was kind of hard I was really gonna consider keeping these pair of Converse because the reason you just need a pair of shoes that you can destroy you know like paint tonight or go on a I don't know walk at Disneyland you just I don't know someplace that you just need shoes to destroy but I have this other pair of Converse and these ones are newer and I just don't need two plus I have a bunch of other black shoes and I really like black Converse and I feel like I'm holding on to these and not getting new ones because I have these ones, but I don't wear these ones because they're pretty destroyed. Like I like the look of destroyed Converse, but these ones are kind of past it. They're, uh, they're kind of uncomfortable to walk in. So I think it's time to let go of these and use these more as my paint night or whatever destroy kind of shoe and, or like pumpkin patch, you know, the pumpkin patch is always dirty, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna be getting rid of these next I have these um, gray and black Under Armour shoes I love these because I just wear them a lot they're so comfy for walking around in I wear these for more sporty type outfits but they're more street style too compared to like other Under Armour running shoes and yeah I wear these a lot so I'm gonna be keeping them and these are just the OG black zip-on slip -on vans. They're actually another reason why I felt like it was time to get rid of my black Converse. Next up, I have two pairs of white pennies. I know you're judging me, but see here's what happened. I mentioned to my sisters that for my birthday, or my birthday was coming up, and I mentioned to my sisters that I did have a pair of white shoes. And so they got me these beautiful ones, but I didn't know that they got me them, so I got myself these. And the reason why I'm keeping both, hear me out, is because one is more, I don't know if you can tell, but one is more like off-white and one is more like stark white, plus it has the green. So I feel like they're two different shoes for two different moods, you know? So I'm keeping both. <laughs> Last up on the tennis shoes, I got both of these for Christmas, <sighs> and I love them so much. I... Okay, so these ones are really popular and I didn't even know that they were really popular collaboration. I just saw them. I was on the website because a friend of mine told me that New Balances are really good for running. And so originally this was supposed to be a running shoe, but then when it arrived at my house for Christmas, it was just way too cute to go running in these. Like, these are too cute. So keeping these. And then these I also got because they're trail running shoes and we go on a lot of hikes here in Hawaii, but when they arrived at the house, they're just too cute. They're, they're too cute to go running in, at least right now. So once I wear them more often with outfits and they get a little more dirty, I will take them on a trail run because they do have like cool spikes there. They're, they are meant for trail running, but I have an issue. So I got these. These are flat, right? I believe so. <laughs> I really like them because they have the metal like ac accents, accessories. Yeah, I anticipate wearing these a lot. I also got myself a pair of loafers. I think that's what these are called. I like these because they're shiny and they just, just both of these are so unique and different in my wardrobe that I think I'll get a lot of wear with them. And yeah, 
And finally, my last two pairs of shoes are two pairs of boots. Um, these are rain boots, Chelsea rain boots. It rains a lot here in Hawaii, um, but I feel like you can wear them at any time. They're really cute. And then a pair of combat boots because you kind of just need combat boots. These are both newer purchases. I found these. These are so cute. I found them in the child section in Zara. I'm pretty petite. I don't know if that shows off on camera or not, but I'm obsessed and I can't wait to wear these shoes. Okay. Now we're going to get up into this luggage that's up here because I think most of it is stuff I was already planning on decluttering that I had moved away just to see if I would miss it. So let's go through that. Right off the bat, I know I don't think I'm going to keep this. Um, this was something that I kind of just wore over bathing suits, but I just don't find myself wearing it as much anymore. These are just a bunch of like cut up t-shirts that I cut up and be getting rid of. Um, this one I'll be getting rid of. I really like this one for some odd reason. It says bad luck so I think this is going to be in the baby pile. I just wear it when I want to throw something over and I don't know why I just like it because it says it's bad luck so I like to think that I'm rebellious but I'm not. Okay, so I currently own 10 pairs of denim shorts, which I know is quite a lot considering some people own 30 items max in their whole wardrobe, but um, this is a pretty decluttered version. I like everything in there except for one pair of shorts that I kind of go back and forth on. It's this pair of light wash Abercrombie jeans. It's just so hard for me because I can look at something and think it's so cute and want to keep it because it's so cute but also know that I'm not wearing it. Um, these don't really fit me all that well. I normally just wear them to the beach at this point and I don't really wanna be showing my bum anymore because again, that kind of lends to someone that's younger and I don't wanna give off the vibe that I'm younger. So, I mean, I'm still young, but I just don't wanna be showing my booty anymore. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to pass on these even though they're so adorable. They don't really fit me in the waist that much, so I just have to come up with reasons to let them go. Somebody else will love them more than me, right? Okay, so what I've realized is I kind of just quickly glanced in my closet, and I actually I just pulled out a lot of the stuff that I wasn't wearing at the time into this luggage, which kind of means this is kind of more of the stuff that I should be decluttering, because I kept pretty much everything up here that I... I'm hoping to wear, at least give this more of a try now that COVID is lightening up and we're gonna get to start doing things again. So I'm gonna leave this here. We're gonna go through what's in here. We have this flannel shirt. I, I love this flannel shirt. I've worn it a lot, but it's kind of tight on the sleeves and um, in general, it's kind of a thin, cheaper material i'm hoping to get a more substantial flannel a thicker flannel that will last me a longer time i'm also not a huge fan of this colorway kind of gives me lumberjack vibes and i i understand that's the nature of a flannel but i think i just want one flannel that's a bit more oversized that i can wear with a lot of outfits versus this i'm kind of stuck to a color palette i guess or one sort of color palette. So I'm gonna be getting rid of this. I also have just this plain striped shirt. I have another one actually, and um, they're just thinner material. I've worn them for a long time, but I'm ready to pass these along. A few shirts like this that I have cut up, and I'm just not I was just going to say, I'm just not as much of a cropped shirt fan as I'm literally wearing a cropped shirt, but I guess I'm just more picky with my cropped shirts now. Um, I just don't want that many lying around. Again, doesn't really lend to looking older or more mature, um, especially these t-shirt style ones, so um, it's just not the vibe that I'm wanting to give off anymore I guess so I have a few of these 
that I'm gonna pass along. I have this one, it says California, that's where I'm from. <laughs> um, I have this one that I think is so adorable, but it's a little bit big. It's not as tight and form-filling as this one. So as much as I love it, as much as I love the color, I just don't find myself wearing it because it's so thin, yet it's not form-fitting, so it doesn't look quite how I want it to look. I have a few different bathing suit pieces that just don't quite fit right anymore. Um, I'm also just not into like the super bright, vibrant colors at the moment. I'm more into earthy tones in general now. Um, like green, I love green and browns and nudes and things of that nature. Black, of course, I love black, but that's not earthy. Um, I have this shirt that I'm planning on giving away. It kind of kills me because I just like, I love it. I love the little like not today surfer vibe, but I just don't wear it and it's just, I just gotta go. I have this pair of Under Armour shorts. Um, they're just too big, so gotta pass these along. And lastly, I have this top that the sleeves kind of shrunk on me, so I don't find myself wearing it all that much. And I just don't love this color mauve against my skin tone as much. I don't know what it is. Um, I think I outwore it, like, in high school. So, yeah, that is my declutter. It wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be, but I realized that I have been doing a few declutters since COVID started. So most of the stuff is stuff that I haven't really given a proper chance. So my neighbor is watering their plants, sorry. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna give it more of a chance and maybe I'll do a declutter six months from now and see how things go. I'm just gonna quickly show you what my closet looks like now. These are all my pairs of denim shorts. I now have nine pairs of denim shorts. Um, and then I have a few more like um, sweat style shorts and like formal shorts, I guess. Just like a few of those. These are my baseball caps. I think I have like three and this beach hat. And then over here, I have some more tank tops and then going into a few crop shirts, even though I said I'm not I guess I'm just more into stylized crop shirts versus like the whatever crop shirts. I just don't want to have as much things in my wardrobe that aren't styled because I know that my human nature is to just wear bummy clothes because I don't want to ruin my nice clothes, but then my nice clothes never get worn. So I'm trying to get rid of as much bummy clothes or clothes that I don't care about as much because I always tend to wear the clothes I don't care about as much. I don't know if anybody else does that, but so, um, yeah, I'm trying to keep the clothes that are really nice that I have no other option other than to dress nice. And then my closet goes back into there. There's like all my warmer stuff, jackets, which is not too bad considering I can fit it all in one half of a closet. Um, in here that's bathing suits and undergarments, so I won't be showing you that. But in this one, I have just a bunch of sporty things and a few knits. And then down here are all of my pants. I'm wearing a pair. <laughs> and um, I have three pairs of sweatpants and then a few pairs of leggings. Um, yeah, so obviously I did declutter a few things and I'm hoping to do another declutter in another six months once I give these clothes a go. I might be trying to do a capsule wardrobe challenge. I just want to challenge myself to dress more in general. So if you have any tips about that, about dressing up or about um, decluttering, like the questions that you ask yourself or how you get yourself to be able to declutter more, I'm totally interested in learning more and talking to people about it because I am trying to be more minimalistic. I am trying to be more detached from things and not feel the need to always constantly be buying things. Um, I feel like I've done fairly good, but obviously it's a never ending journey of reflecting and looking at your things and making sure that you're not accumulating too much stuff. Um, but yeah, see you later.